Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a new spread um, where I am reading the energy of your ex. So it's it doesn't matter what sign you are. If your ex is a sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, Gemini, you're in the right place. Now I'm hoping, I've noticed the last four videos I've done for Gemini, there has been sound issues or things um, showing up in my videos. So I'm hoping that this doesn't get all jumbled and my voice doesn't get all weird and distorted. So we'll see. Whoa. Okay. So let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for those watching for the energy of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's Gemini up to? What are they doing? Where they're at? And are they coming back? Okay. Okay, let's see. Page of Wands, Five of Wands, The Devil, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Six of Wands, a lot of fire energy here for you Gemini cross watchers, oh, okay. And we'll get a card for each row to clarify. All right. And for the cross watchers, I only clarify the major arcanas. So we'll get a clarifying card for the devil. Why is Gemini dealing with the devil energy? Ooh. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. And the Temperance. Holy crap. <laughs> and the chariot. Okay. So let me see what we got here for what Gemini is up to. So they're waiting to hear from a fire sign, um, could be a younger fire sign to them, light hair. Um, yeah, but something's blocking them from contacting uh, the Taurus. They're, they're dealing with a lot, or not Taurus, I'm sorry, Gemini. They're dealing with a lot of um, internal conflicts right now. They got a lot going on in their head about what happened between the two of you in the past. Um, there could have been outside competition, but um, it just caused a lot of problems, a lot of mental uh, turmoil. They also have the devil here, clarified by the two of swords and the um, queen of fire, so or the queen of wands. So at one point in time, they felt they needed this connection. They were codependent on the happiness from you or um, whoever was in their space, but they are making a, a conscious decision to break free from this devil energy and move to a calmer place. They are um, meditating and praying and working on themselves and grounding themselves with uh, Gaia here and just such peace. And when they did that, when they made the conscious choice, it it allowed the, the waters of this tumultuous situation seem to calm down. So they're, they're taking a step back and working on themselves. They're trying to get themselves back to a good place. Um, 
and they're just wanting stability. They're hoping for something to, um, something or someone to give them a sense of, uh, stability, content contentment, somebody that's going to be there tomorrow instead of wondering, um, who, what, when, where, and why they also have the eight of wands. So they're going to open up communication, um, here very soon in the next eight weeks, eight days. Um, however, they're going to reach out to this fire sign, um, because they have taken the time they needed to, to mend their heart, to, uh, get over the heartbreak of this situation that this relationship ended on. Um, they are finding victory with healing, with moving on. Um, yeah, because for a long time, you're all they thought about with the five of cups here, no matter how hard they tried to get you out of their head, you were always there. Um, no matter who was trying to get their attention, um, it was impossible to, to get it because they were focused on the heartache of the past. They are, um, they're sleeping much better. They're no longer depressed or anxious about what's going to happen tomorrow or what's going to happen with this connection, or if they're coming back, or you're coming back, or um, or any of that. They have moved to a good place. Um, they're really, yeah, they had a hell of a time in the last six months. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning in their favor. They have paid their karmic debts. They have learned their karmic lessons. And uh, a relationship is on the horizon for them. With the next turn of the wheel, um, they will move into a committed relationship with, uh, it looks like a fire sign here. Um, possibly an air sign. That's all we, I got for signs here. Um, they're still in need of a little bit of more self healing. Um, yeah, they need to find more balance and they're well on their way. They're working on it. They're working very hard. Um, but it's just not quite there yet. Uh, there is a air sign in their, uh, energy that is helping them heal. Could be, um, somebody like a therapist, a counselor, um, somebody with air sign qualities is helping them, um, move into a more balanced state, teaching them, um, showing them how to really just focus on yourself and, and doing grounding work and healing. And they, they're okay with moving on from this connection. They're okay with um, letting the the door close to this chapter, but there's something that they're they're just not quite there yet. There's something that they're not seeing um, that needs to be completed, that needs to be done before they can fully uh, close out this world and or this uh, cycle and move forward. I do see them completing this cycle, however, in the time of cancer. So very soon, um, because they are, they have somebody in mind that they want to hold their cup. Now you have the King of Swords, the King of Chalices and the King of Pentacles here. There very well could be three options that they are, um, that they have at their, uh, for their choice right now. Um, I'm going to clarify the King of Pentacles. Maybe <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. So the King of Pentacles, uh, in their energy is a soulmate. Um, this is somebody that they have known before, um, whether it be family, uh, you know, a friend, a family member or a lover, um, they all come in the form of soulmates and the King of chalice here is the temperance on the backside. So they just need to remain patient in their healing process. They need to, um, continue to work on themselves and they are in a, believe me, they are in a beautiful place. Um, I do feel for this group of you that I am reading for, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, yeah, this is a twin flame soulmate. Um, they are 
they are healing so they can come back to you. Um, why is the four of wands here? Yeah. Um, temperance. The world. Okay, so they need to close out a chapter yet with this air sign um, from the past. Uh, whether it be this life or uh, a lifetime before, there's still a karmic tie or bond connected to them. And it's keeping them from um, gaining this temperance, this, this complete self-healing. Um, yeah. Once they cut that karmic tie and bond or get the truth from an air sign that hurt them in the past, they're going to be able to move forward and into a relationship. And yeah, so um, this King of Pentacles could be an air sign or earth sign or earth sign qualities. I feel this is a soulmate, um, the King of Cups. Uh, I do feel that Gemini is cutting that person off, cutting communication with that person at this time. And uh, in the world, the chapter that needs closed, the cycle that needs to come to an end is with an air sign. So they are all work, or they are working on that as we speak. Um, temperance with the Four of Wands, and then you have the King and Queen of uh, fire that showed up here. I do feel that this is a twin flame um, relationship that will come back together as soon as they are done dealing with all um, their karma, their lessons. Um, they are working very hard though. Um, very hard. And they're doing a beautiful job because they have been very hurt and betrayed in the past. So it's not easy what they're having to deal with, what they're having to work through. But um, they're doing it. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for um, what Gemini are up to this week. Uh, if you like this kind of reading and you want me to keep doing it, please comment below yes or no. Um, because if the majority wants me to keep doing it, I will. If they don't, then I'm going to, um, then I'll try a different kind of reading for the month. I'm going to try to incorporate a different reading every month. So let me know what you think. Um, also, if you like it, go ahead and press that like button um, because that is how I determine what order my next set of readings is coming out um, on. So the more likes, the first, the higher on the list you guys will be. So make sure you like um, your videos for your Zodiac. And I appreciate you guys coming to my channel to watch my videos. Without you, my spiritual journey would not be what it is today. So much love and appreciation goes out to you. I hope you have a beautiful week. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.